Good morning, students. Today, in module first, I will discuss here heights and distances of class tenth. The first of all, students, I will discuss basic of heights and distance. So, the first is the height or length of an object or distance between two. Distant object can be determined with the help of trigonometric concept. The distance between two object A and B, they are two object. This distance, generally vertical distance, is called height, and horizontal, this is called distance. This one is called distance. And then next one is very important is line of sight. What is line of sight? The line of sight, the line of sight is the line drawn from the eye object observe eye object eye of an observer to the point of the object viewed by the observer. Suppose it is observer at point C and at point A is object. This line is called AC. This is called line of sight. Clear? Line of sight, the distance between the observer and the object. This distance is called this line. This line is called line of sight. And then, you see these two words. Elevation and depression. Angle of elevation and angle of depression. They are very very important of this chapter. You see very attentively what is angle of elevation. The angle of elevation of an object is the angle between the line of sight and the horizontal. You see, at point R, it is observer, and at point P, it is object. And R Q is a horizontal line. The angle between the definition, the angle, angle of elevation of an object, the angle of elevation, angle between the line of sight, this one, and horizontal is called angle of elevation. You see very attentively here when the object is above the horizontal line. You see here the object. Is above this is object is above the horizontal line. It is called angle of elevation. And then angle of depression, beta. The angle of depression, same definition. But here you see this one. The angle of a depression of an object. The angle between the line of sight. This line of sight is this one because the observer at point P and object at point R. So this is called line of sight, and uh, this one, this line, beta, this line parallel to this. The end, this is horizontal line. The angle between the line of sight and the horizontal line is called angle of depression. You see, one thing is that when the object is below the horizontal line, this object is. Below the horizontal line is this is the nature. The object is below the horizontal line, and this angle is called angle of depression. This angle equal to this because they are alternate interior angles are equal. Suppose this angle is forty five, this also forty five. Clear? So you see these two definition very attentively. Clear? यहाँ पे जो हमारा ऑब्जेक्ट होता है ठीक है ना वो ऊपर होता है और यहाँ पे ऑब्जेक्ट हमारा नीचे होता है डिप्रेशन क्लियर नाउ यू सी डिफरेंट सिचुएशन हियर सपोज बी डी इट इज ए बिल्डिंग एंड इट इज एंड सेकेंड बिल्डिंग यू कैन सेकेंड फ्लोर यू कैन सी वेन ए ऑब्जर्वर इज At point C, some distance, and at point C, he observer, he observe this first floor, this one, 
at point B, this angle is 30, and the same point he observed the second floor, this one here, this one here. So this angle will be 60 degree full angle. The student they confuse here, this angle is 30, this angle is 60. No, this angle will be 60 and this angle will be 30. And then next one is the same. Next one is suppose A B is a building and the observer is at point C. He observe the point A top here. The angle of elevation is 30 degree. As he walks toward the building, the angle of elevation change 30 to 45. So angle is this will be 45. As we close the building, the angle of elevation will increase. As we go away from the building, the angle of elevation will decrease. So, the building ke pass wala angle hoga, wo bada hoga, building se to, jo point hoga, wo jo angle hoga between the line of sight and horizontal, it will be less. It kam hoga chala jai, yes, aapka increase hoga chala jai. Now, COC, AB is a building and CD is a hill. Clear? And then, at the foot of the building, we observe the top of the hill, the angle of elevation is 60 degree. As we observe from the foot of the hill to the top of this building, the angle of elevation is 30 degree. So, just it, our hill hai, jitni aapki ye height ho, ye hamara angle hamisha bada hoga, kyunki chota hai, ye angle hamara chota. Jo bhi aapko chhan rakhna dekha. Clear? Just say, we have done it. Just angle up or down, angle our increase or decrease. Just like we have done it, angle is increasing or decreasing. Now you see, fourth situation, AB and CD they are two poles of equal height. We observe AB and CD they are two poles of equal height. We observe at point P. Then this angle of elevation is at point P. We observe at at a, a point, the angle of elevation is 60 degree and at same point we observe the second pole, this top of this pole is at point C, the angle of elevation is 30 degree. So, this is your point P, this B or D point, this mirror hoga be the angle bada hoga. This is your P, aapke, you see. BP and PD line, this line is smaller than PD. So, this angle will be greater than this. Okay, no? If we pass this angle, we will be able to pass this angle. If we pass this angle, we will be able to pass this angle. If we pass this angle, we will be able to pass this fourth situation, I have given you see very attentively. And uh, you remember these two. Uh, this uh, word elevation and depression you see very attentively read it two times three times clear and in next video i will discuss some questions of heights and distances thank you